Okay, it's time to see if we can plug the stuff into a web page. So, let's create a web page. Control, Control XF, index HTML. That's not the right page. So far, so good. HTML5. Emmet to the rescue. Thank you, Emmet. So, uh, I guess now I'm straight up. Yeah, I'm spiking. So there we go. Got a page here. I need to put my files in there. My files are script source. I forgot what they were called. Just one, just one file, hang person.js. That's easy, I can do that. So far so good. I'm also gonna get jQuery. I'm gonna I don't know what I'm looking at. Let's do compressed production ready. Save link as. Um, put that in my lib directory, I suppose. Which means I'm going to have a script src lib jQuery 2.1.minify.js. And when I refresh this page, I should be able to create a new. A new div uh, with HTML oh hello uh, and maybe can I do like append body that I work probably the other way around body and yep okay cool so I have jQuery and jQuery works life is good let's put in some basic HTML and try to think about what elements I need uh, index so in my body I need an input field let's begin with that that's gonna be my guess so I'm gonna have uh, a form it's going to have no action whatsoever. I don't need both of those things to point at that. One of the things here is going to be uh, an input. Uh, form is going to be class guessing. The input is going to have the name of uh, guess. It's going to be type text, and then I'm going to have uh, input type submit value guess. Perfect. Maybe I want to have a placeholder here. Placeholder, placeholder what? Placeholder. So that, that's a little better. Now I need to 
Uh, I need to have here a div. Um, guesses remaining with nothing in it. Uh, ba -ba -ba. when they need to be able to guess. So I need to have a window.onload. Uh, let me inline this in HTML for now. Just to check that I have the right syntax for it. Inline JavaScript. Script type, yep, okay. Script type equals text JavaScript. Can do this and I'm gonna say window dot onload equals function and inside this function I'm gonna say uh, new hang person and for now, I'm not going to be worrying about where that comes from. I'm going to put banana, monkey, and soup. Just perfect. Good enough. And what else? What else? What else do I need next? Um, still no errors, which is good. I need to bind guess to guessing and once I guess I need to have a place where I can display the output let's put that below it I'm gonna have another div class uh, guess status div and there is gonna be nothing now I need to bind a bunch of those things see now I feel like I'm gonna want I want a class, like an, um, an object, to handle all the binding and displaying of stuff. Before I go in here, it's going to be really, really fuddly. But, yeah, let's see what I can do. Uh, so, let's say, um, hmm. Well, I have the guess button, right? So let's say I have guessing on submit function I should be that interesting it won't let me do the indentation well oh well uh. hmm, it's a little better so no not the correct indentation but I have better coloration now I think So, oh, hey, look, indentation, great. So, guessing that on submit, on submit, I want to do first uh, e that prevent default, and then I need to refer to the hangman. Let's begin this way. I say uh, hangman. But guess uh, var user guess. This that find input. What was the input's name? Guess. I'm gonna have to check whether this is correct. Let's say I put five here. Can I say? Uh, well, 
Let's find out. It doesn't say anything. Which makes sense. I'm not really outputting anything over it anywhere. Uh, I need to do. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat a bit. I'm just going to put a debugger in here. So now when I put like A, guess, I got a debugger. And go to the console, I can check this.find input name equals guess. I think this is wrong. I think I'm supposed to put... No, it works. But I need to put the value. Yeah, I need to do that. That's kind of a problem, otherwise, this is, this is janky and should not be inlined like that, but whatever. Let's kill the debugger. And instead, let's update. Let's do... Um, inside here, I need to do display word, I think it was. Yeah. So I need to say... I'm going to get you know, further down here. Guest status. Guest status dot HTML. And that's going to be hangman dot display word. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's working. That's working. Uh, I should probably clear the state actually here. No, nah, whatever. It's, for now, let's not worry about it. I'm guessing I get a B and then an N, and it's working. But I need to have a final you win or you lose, and the um, what's the word? The guess count. So I need to do. Guesses remaining. But guesses remaining. But HTML and then guesses remaining. Great. Of course, uh, this would be. I mean, this is span. This is a little bit easier for me to deal with, and I'm going to put, oh god. I'm going to put that inside the div. And I'm going to say here, this is the meaning. Great. So of course I need to update that as well. See, I clearly need like a, a status thing, right? Because I'm actually going to want this to be a starting point. Right. Is it been in that all the time? That would be so suck. It's not banana all the time, which is good. Okay, so now I need to have a win-lose display somewhere. So I need HTML that will do Yeah, game status is good enough. And then I'm gonna update the guess actually returns either you know what? I'm gonna have a guess return an empty string all the time. Meaning I can say for my version of the world here, I can say uh, game status like HTML and then output. And then I can go here and say var and then output equals this. And then look at S O U. He, I win! Hey, this is pretty cool. It's just kind of plugging in together. I need 
I'm not happy about this state. I want the prevent default to be there, but I need to kill the status. So this is actually the button, the thing that I care about. So I can say uh, var input field equals this, and then uh, input field that value here. And then I can say uh, input field dot, I think, text, no, val, like this. Great. Okay. And this concludes this basic, basic spike screencast.